In this video, which is the first in our educational series, we are going to give you a high level understanding of what EMF is and how it can affect your body. In other words, a three oxygen EMF 101. Then we're going to discuss some differences between ionizing radiation and non-ionizing radiation. And at the end, for a little bonus, we are going to show you guys the upper operating limits of 5G and where it lies on the electromagnetic spectrum. At any time during this video, you like the content, please hit that like or subscribe button. Let's get started. Hello and welcome. My name is Ford Bidding, the founder of 3Oxygen, which is a company that makes EMF blocking apparel. Right now, we just offer a line of boys and men's underwear. We think that is the most pressing need of the market given the location of where most men and boys store their phone, which is in their front pocket next to a very sensitive area. In a nutshell, we make underwear that blocks the harmful RF energy or radiation that your cell phone and laptop emit. Now, electromagnetic fields can be a confusing topic when you're trying to figure out how it relates to you and your electronics. But after this video, you'll have a better understanding of all of that and you'll begin to see a bigger picture of why this topic is definitely something you need to understand, not only for you, but for your loved ones. Let's dive right in. Electromagnetic fields, or EMF, are produced by any electronic charge. These fields are both electric and magnetic and travel at the speed of light, and this creates electromagnetic radiation, or EMR. In general, electromagnetic radiation has two types, ionizing and non-ionizing. And in general, there are two types of effects associated with them, thermal and non-thermal. Let's discuss the first type of EMR, which is ionizing. Examples are the sun's cosmic rays, X-ray, and the far end of the spectrum, radioactive isotopes. We know that there are both thermal and non-thermal harmful effects associated with ionizing radiation. Checkmark means we have a good understanding of the limits to these effects. These limits can be in the form of wearing protection, and dosage and exposure limitation. Red means we are confident it's harmful. So we are confident both thermal and non-thermal effects of ionizing radiation can be harmful and we know how to protect ourselves from them. Now let's talk about the other type of EMR, non-ionizing. There are more than just these two types of non-ionizing radiation, but we're only going to cover extremely low frequency, ELF, and radio frequency, RF. Examples of ELF are electric shaver, blow dryer, and people. That's right, I said people. We are electromagnetic beings. This is why when you die, they try to give you a jump start with a defibrillator. This is important to know and remember that we operate on this scale. Okay, so ELF can create thermal effects that are harmful to humans, but with limited dosage and exposure, you are fine. Obviously, don't hold the blow dryer in front of your face for an extended period of time. So, red check, we are confident that it's harmful, but understand the limits. Now, non-thermal effects of ELF. This is basically the radiation most electronic devices emit just for being turned on. No real communication or signal is coming in or out of it. We understand these limits, so check mark. Which for ELF, there really isn't any exposure limits. And it's not harmful, so green. Again, check mark means we have a good understanding of the exposure limits and know what we need to do in order to protect ourselves from it. Check, 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 check. Red means it's harmful to humans. Green means it isn't. Now let's talk about the other type of non-ionizing radiation that is radio frequency or RF. Examples are laptops, cell phones, and microwaves. Again, you see a trend here. There are thermal effects that can be created from these, i.e. microwave. Same thing, the red mark means it can be harmful, but we know the limits for exposure and how to protect ourselves. That holds true for a cell phone. If it's hot, keep it away from your body until it cools down. The FCC knows there are thermal effects and is supposed to have standards for this so your phone doesn't get too hot, but obviously it can. Now, what about the non-thermal effects of radio frequencies? As you can see, there is a red question mark. So this is actually what the rest of the educational videos in this series covers. We go into detail about the non-thermal harmful effects of RF radiation. And this is the category that three oxygen apparel will help protect you from. But remember, 
This is just a EMF and RF 101. So getting back on track, radio frequencies or RF are the type of frequencies that laptops, cell phones, and microwaves operate on. Look down here at this very basic and not to scale electromagnetic spectrum. This curve here represents all the different frequencies the above examples operate on. To the right, you have the higher frequencies, which is what radioactive isotopes emit, very harmful, so red. To the left at the end, you have lower frequencies that humans emit, not harmful, so green. And within these frequencies travels energy we measure in photons. Now this is where we go into the differences between ionizing and non-ionizing radiation. For ionizing radiation, there is enough energy per photon that it can ionize atoms, causing a chemical reaction. Going back to high school chemistry, basically there is enough energy in that frequency that it can actually knock off the valence electron in that atom, which causes the entire molecule to become unstable. This is one way we can get skin cancer from the sun or an x-ray. Non-ionizing radiation does not have enough energy in its frequency to cause the ionization effect. That is why it is called non-ionizing radiation. Due to this fact, the FCC, FDA, NTP, WHO, ACS do not explicitly recognize RF exposure to be harmful. And we all thought that a green check mark belonged here, that is, until recently. The American Cancer Society, ACS, did say in 2020, and I quote, cell phones and cell phone towers, base stations, use RF radiation to transmit and receive signals. Some concerns have been raised that these signals might increase the risk of cancer, and research in this area continues, end quote. This is important because it does indicate that the thermal effect of RF radiation isn't the only thing that can harm our bodies. There may be something else, wink, wink. We dive into how in another video. Hopefully y'all have a better understanding of what EMF is and the differences between ionizing and non-ionizing radiation. Now for the big 5G bonus. Looking at where this yellow circle is located, you can see that 30 gigahertz is where 5G will be able to operate. Here is where 2G, 3G, and 4G operate. 5G actually stands for generation. The previous 2G, 3G, 4G name stood for their correlated frequencies. This is actually very exciting that 5G will be able to operate at this range. A lot of data will be able to be transferred, giving way to new exciting technological advances. You know, as you can see, a microwave also operates at 30 gigahertz. It is important to note and understand that although 5G is using the 30 gigahertz range, it won't transmit enough energy to cause the thermal effect. But that does not mean there aren't non-thermal effects associated with this. Okay, hopefully all that was as clear as mud. This video was really designed to help you get a good starting point so you can do more research on your own. We have a lot of good information on our website, link is below, and we have more educational videos on this YouTube channel. Now, as you begin your journey, you will find out that this video really helped you conceptualize the links between what is actually happening in these physical and biological realms. To help y'all a little further, wanted to clarify some confusing verbiage. Oftentimes, EMF or RF can be used interchangeably. Sometimes you'll see EMF blocking or RF blocking. You know, this means the same thing. Also, energy and radiation can mean the same thing. So when you see RF or EMF energy, you can substitute radiation in there as well. In closing, we wanna be clear that three oxygen apparel is not against technology. We love and support technology and the advancements it has brought us and will bring us. You simply can't measure the amount of good that the cell phone and the laptop have given us. Unfortunately, there's a small cost with all that good and we protect you from that cost. We want you to enjoy all the benefits of these awesome tools without having to worry about any of the side effects. Okay guys, that's it for today. If you like the content in this video, hit that like or subscribe button. Good talk, we'll see you next time.